maybe it's time that you stop asking for God's blessing on the work that you do and start doing the work that God has blessed. This is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com. Well, I'm in Stromsburg this morning at the Viking Center, uh, where senatorial candidate Mike Johans is the guest speaker for the National Day of Prayer. They're having a breakfast here. It actually looks like the entire town is turned out. And I thought, what am I being called to do here? Well, certainly to do a good job in the department, to bring honor to what I'm doing, all of those things. But then I realized that there's a deeper, deeper prayerful meaning here. And that meaning is that because of our farmers, because of rural America and what we do here in creating food, we feed the hungry. And we do. A piece of what we do, and it's a very significant piece, every year goes for nutrition programs, not only here, but it goes for programs around the world. When you read about somebody starving somewhere and food being brought to them, almost always the USDA is part of that with the World Food Program, which is based in Rome. I can also tell you we house the poor. You would be surprised at how many buildings we build out there. Let me, if I might, wrap up with a couple of quick stories about both of those missions. Ladies and gentlemen, in those three years, I had experiences that were fascinating. I can talk to you about sitting in the Oval Office with the President of the United States. But what I want to talk to you about, and what I will remember most about that time, <coughs> is how fortunate we are, and how much God has given to us. And I must admit, I can't explain why. So again, there were a lot of Republican supporters this morning in Stromsburg. Um, listening to Mike Johans as he spoke at their National Day of Prayer breakfast. And this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.